Harvey, how are you? Good. How are you? Or do you prefer Javier? I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> My friends and family. So if we become close friends, then yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we, look, listen, we've got five minutes. Stranger yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to start off and ask you, I mean, like, I know you've done a lot of comedy, obviously, you know, um, Harvey, or sorry, Harley Quinn and uh, what we do in the shadows and so on and so forth. Um, I'm wondering. I mean, is there, do you find any noticeable difference in terms of your own performance between live action and voice acting for comedy? Absolutely. I mean, with those characters alone, you know, when you think about Guillermo and what we do in the shadows, he's very submissive and quiet and his voice is very soft. And sometimes even the microphone doesn't pick up. If you were in the room when I'm filming that, you'd be like, what? Because it's so quiet and subtle and only the microphone picks it up. And with a character like in Harley Quinn, where you know uh nightwing is his register is lower so it's very like broody and it's down here you know so it's like lower register and then when you think of perrito he's like up and, up and optimistic it's just like the range is everywhere so i kind of like taking on roles that people don't know that it's the same person so good on you to point those out because most people will not know that i'm nightwing and that i'm perrito <laughs> definitely not the guy from what we do in the shadows like they'll never put those together and when they do they're like what and i was like e <laughs> it's true yeah because like when it was uh, when i was doing research it was like it was like scrolling through, it was like he's in that <laughs> he's in this yeah. Like, yeah, yeah that it's yeah no it's good um, just about Perito, I mean, like, it's, do you, would you define the character in terms of, like you said there that, you know, in, in playing Guillermo and um, what we do in the shadows, he's quite submissive and all the rest of it. And Perito is a, a, a little bit, I don't want to say submissive, but he's so kind of optimistic and all the rest of it. Do you connect, um, do you connect your characters together? I guess is what I'm asking. Is it fun? Yeah. Do you, do you connect them together or do you like them to be completely separate? Well, I always connect into me. Like I always find something about the character that I can relate to and can dive into myself um, and make it more, you know, linear and cohesive to the story for me. Uh, but these characters are very much different. Like uh, Guillermo is just now in season five taking initiative. Uh, and uh, in Perrito's world, he kind of takes initiative. He knows what he wants. He wants to be a therapy dog and he's wanting to go out for it. But uh, he's just living life day to day. And along the way, he helps anyone who he meets. So he stops his dream to kind of help someone else fulfill theirs on the go. And with, you know, again, Nightwing, like it's just someone who is, pretty much all about themselves you know <laughs> like nightwing is pretty self-absorbed and uh kind of emo at times and uh and that's just who he is it's because of the backstory that he has with you know batman and his upbringing and whatnot so i love all the all the characters of perrito is probably the most optimistic out of all of them out of all of the characters you've ever played you think I would say it's up there. Yeah, I think he's so positive and his energy is oozing. It's just like to the point where he's annoying, you know, Puss in Boots. And even, you know, Salma's character, if, you know, starts to like him because you can't help to like someone who's positive because then you uh, then you know that you're the a-hole. You know, if you're the person in the room yeah. who's not liking someone, it's like, oh, something's wrong with you. Like you're the person who's not accepting positivity, accepting people are trying to give you goodness and you're like, no, thanks. I like to be better living in, in a terrible situation. Then that's, then it's the mirror being put up to you and be like, maybe it's you, maybe you need to change your, your ways. And I think Perito does that. He puts a mirror up to people and be like, can't you be optimistic? <laughs> did you actually, actually just actually on that. I mean, did you get to do any recording sessions with Antonio or in Salma? Just cause I'd love to know what the dynamic was. No, and I'm, I was so bummed, but because of the world, you know, the state of the, the world was in, mm. we couldn't do that. And we were all in different time zones. I was filming uh, season three, I think I started uh, Shadows when we started the production. Wow. And I was in Toronto, Canada. So I, I recorded myself in Canada. And I think someone was recording in London and Antonio was in Spain. So we were all over the place. So the time difference would have thrown us off anyways. I would have been recording like at sure, four yeah. in the morning or something. But, uh, you know, I'm excited to meet them all in person. So. Good stuff. All right, okay, I've just gotten wrapped there. Thanks so much, Harvey. Thanks, have a good one. I am Puss in Boots.